Okay, this is my video review for the Acer Iconia A500 tablet by Acer. Um, this tablet is uh, 16 gigs. Um, it features a front-facing camera. Um, you can see it right there. Uh, you have the, uh, the light sensor. On the left-hand side, you will have a docking port for a keyboard, and that's it. Uh, at the bottom you will see that there is an actual port for a USB connection and a uh, micro USB connection. Uh, on the other end you will have the charging port and if we go to the other end you will see that there is a mini USB port, uh, your standard headphone jack, let me focus there, okay, and the power button. Up here you will see that there's a volume rocker and a, a locking mechanism here as well. Uh, right now it's in my leather case but under here there is a um, another slot where it allows you to add micro SD cards. Um, the tablet is running on Android 3.0 I believe uh, and this version of Android is actually made specifically for tablets. Uh, currently, I, I just got it today, so I'm still getting familiar with a lot of the features that it has considering I am an iPhone uh, user and I also just purchased a Mac as well. Um, you can see that this is your home screen and you can actually add additional screens to it. Uh, I believe, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five home screens that you can have on this tablet. Uh, at the bottom, in the left-hand corner, you will see that there are three buttons, and this would typically be on the bottom of your Android phone. One is to show you um, your next screen, if there are any. Uh, the one that's in the middle is the home button, so it will always take you back to this screen. And the third one is to show you your running applications. So these are the last applications that I used, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, they would appear under there. Uh, top right hand corner, let me focus there, okay, you have the apps uh, tab, if you click that, uh, tap on it, it's going to give you all the applications that you currently have on the uh, tablet, and you can just scroll through them, and there's also divided into two sections, all, and just my apps. My app shows you the applications that you purchased or downloaded from the Android market. Uh, now, to show you something, uh, let's see, another feature of it is the web browser. A lot of people are always interested in the web browser. So, as you can see, right now, obviously, it's running on, it's, it has Wi-Fi. It says it's connected right there. Uh, but Google came up pretty quickly. So let's try a website like Amazon.com. So Amazon.com. Let's see how long it takes to load the page. Go. Boom. The full site in just a couple of seconds. And I didn't even actually, this is the first time I've gone to Amazon um, since I cleared my cache and browsing history and all of that so it just loaded the page that quick uh, to prove that it's actually that fast let's go into one of these categories on the left hand side let's see here home improvement so as you can see it's pretty quick let's do one more test with a site that probably has flash. Uh, let's see. Hopefully this is the full site. Okay, you see flash content playing on the tablet really fast. And if you know Newground, Newgrounds.com, uh, you know that the site is very flash intensive. Um, pretty much everything is flash in here. Um, let's see another. Um, and you can actually, with this tablet, you can have multiple tabs open at the top. So all you have to do is press that plus tab and it will create a new tab. 
you press the X, it exits, exits out of the browser. Uh, you have the ability to add different uh, widgets to it. So here it's going to show me that I have wallpaper, apps, uh, widgets that I can add to it. Let's see. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want something specific to know, if you want to know something specific about this tablet, uh, just let me know, and I will make an additional video um, to explain the, those features before you buy it.